Okay, hello everyone, welcome to another video and today I'm going to show you how you can use GoodNotes 5 on the iPad their unique presentation mode which I find it very interesting because as you can see you already might be familiar with you know teachers using visualizers in classroom you know the document cameras and then they use their notepad or notebook and a way they can write a notebook and whatever but then what if you have an iPad where everyone can everything can be in one and I'm going to show you the very unique feature of this one tool that you can use that makes this app which might be the best visualizer app to use in your classroom right now let's get to it Okay, now I'm in my GoodNotes app. As you can see, I have my folders and a notebook here. Right now I'm gonna open a notebook. There we go, right? It's, an, it's, it's a worksheet that I have imported uh, from PDF to GoodNotes. So you can see here, um, it's just a blank worksheet so I can annotate on it. I can do whatever I want on it. I can erase whatever. Now, once you connect your iPad to whether AirPlay to a screen or you connect your iPad to, it, to a TV using over a projector using an HDMI cable, if you can see here, there's a hub and this hub has a HDMI cable there, HDMI port, sorry, so you can connect to your TV or you can also use this software that is called Air Server, which I'm going to show you in another video where you can replicate your or mimic your desktop or your Mac as, a, as an Apple TV. So you can airplay this to the Apple TV, right? Or to your desktop in this case. So now let's see if I airplay it. So I can screen mirror it. And I can select which um, one I want. The one's connected. You will have this option here at the top here. Okay. Now, if you can see here, there's several mode presentation mode here. All right. We're gonna explore each one and see what happens. Okay. Now, the first mode is called mirror entire screen. This means that the audience sees what presenter sees. So if I select this mode, right, it will exactly mirror as per usual. If you use screen mirroring before on Apple TV or on any devices through HDMI, it will exactly mirror what you're seeing on your iPad. So what you see on your iPad is what your audience would see on the screen. Okay. So for example, if you do multitasking, so let's say I have a calculator here. This is by the way the end calculator. I made a video about this because this might be the best calculator ever for iPad, especially as a science teacher. It's a scientific calculator, it's so good. Right, so back to this. So if you use do, using uh, doing multitasking, this will show up as well. So if I write somewhere something, I don't know, randomly 484, I don't know, divided by two, whatever. So as I'm doing this, the audience will also see this here, the calculator here, okay? Now, um, the second mode, okay, the second mode is mirror presenter page, audience doesn't see the interface. So this is very interesting. This might be the killer feature. So if I select this, okay, now as you can see, it only mirrors the notes, the notes that I'm on right now, okay? All this toolbar at the top, Right, all of these tools at the top doesn't appear on the screen, right? So I can move around, I can zoom in, zoom out, I can do whatever I want, right? It doesn't, this, all of this at the top doesn't appear to the audience on the screen, right? Let's say if I do multitasking, okay? If I do multitasking, I want to search something on Google, okay? And I want to calculate something, it doesn't appear on the screen. So you can have your notes or whatever apps on here, so let's say randomly, I um, don't know, I don't know, you have wanted to do app, okay, there. And then, there we go, this audience doesn't see it, okay. And then, 
If you want another, you can open another Good Notes app in multitasking as well. So let's say if I tap this to see my pages. So let's say I want to open this page, for example, maybe this might be your notes, all right? Side by side to the slide that is on the screen, audience screen right now. So if I can tap this, I can drag this on the side, it will open another window. It's a multitasking window, split screen. There we go. So if I close this one, Okay, so I have my notes on one side, and then I can have um, whatever I'm showing to the audience the other, right? So I do my working out, I can highlight things, I can read my notes, right? And then it's fine, right? Nothing, the audience will not see what you're saying, right? You can have your notes, if you stuck, whatever, if you forget something, if you, you know, you can do it like this. Okay, and let's say if you want to add more on top of it, you can add more windows. Let's say, you know, I want to bring back my calculator. You can do the so. So it's a split screen and a multitasking uh, window as well for calculator. It's perfect, right? And then you can zoom in and zoom out and it works really, really well. Okay, now what about the third option? So the third mode, so if you can see here, the third and last mode, it says mirror full page, audience doesn't see interface and zoom. So what this means is, if I tap on this, okay, as you can see on the screen, exactly the, uh, showing the full page of this notes of this document. So this is the full page of the document. So the audience will see exactly this on the screen, right? So whatever, whether I zoom in or zoom out, the audience will not see it at all. Right, so if I can write on here, the audience will see my writing, but then they won't see any zooming in or any zooming out. Right, they won't also see any multitasking, whatever they won't able to see, it, but they will see a full view of your notes. Okay, okay, now what I think is the killer feature is this, which is the laser pointer. Right, look, at the moment you can, you know, show notes, write notes, whatever, you can use existing software out there. For example, um, Notes, you see Apple Notes app, or Microsoft OneNote, or even Microsoft PowerPoint, it's fine. It's nothing really much to it when it comes to presentation. However, Good Notes, well, this might be the first app that have this function, which is a pointer. So for example, if you write something and then you want to show students what you, what, which, which part of the screen that they should be looking at or point or you want to point something at, right? Usually you have to point at the screen with your own finger and then it's not as convenient, okay? So this pointer, laser pointer, I'm going to show you there are two modes. So if I select this first mode, you can see here, it's a laser pointer. So you can see on the screen, Right, you just, when you want to highlight something, you want to show something, it's there, right? The first mode, it only appear as you write or as you draw it or as you point something. So you can see here and then disappear immediately, okay? The second mode is this one. This is like a trailing, right? It will appear, right, from the start until you, let, you lift your pen, pencil in this case, for a few seconds. So if I'm going to show you, it will appear and it will disappear in a few seconds. So if you want to circle this, all right kids, look at this, this is what I mean, right? What, what does this number mean? Whatever, right? So it's like a trailing, it stays on the screen for a few seconds and it disappears. So compared to um, normal notes app, you need to use your pen, right? Look at this one and then it can get messy and you have to like delete it back, whatever. So it's very um, tedious and not as convenient. So I believe this function is a killer feature if you like to use your iPad as a visualizer app in your classroom, right? This also works well if you want to use it as an online visualizer. There will be another video coming soon. And yeah, I think that's it. Today's video, I'm going to show, I showed you about the presentation mode. And yeah, it's very simple, very serious, worth the price, worth the money. And the app itself is very, very nicely presented. 
uh, well thought of and it's always been updated by the developers so i highly recommend for other tutors worth the money right i'm not being sponsored by the way well i wish but anyway all right i hope this video has been useful if you have any comments leave it down below and have a good day everyone goodbye